Trump's comments to Republicans were light on policy substance, though the former president is not short on big ideas. He floated the idea of replacing the income tax with an all-tariff federal system, federal revenue system. In case you needed any further proof that Mr. Trump is an economic nationalist and not a traditional free market conservative. There you have it. But this much we do know. It is his party now. News Nation's Washington correspondent Joe Khalil joins us. And Joe, the meetings were behind closed doors, but we're hearing the president aired some of the same grievances he's been airing very publicly lately. Yeah, he did. And it was all the things that you might regularly hear him say about the country going downhill, about uh, the border crisis and all of that. He did offer up campaign strategy of sorts, what he thinks Republicans should be talking about to voters to garner their attention and to raise some fundraising dollars there. There are also a couple of lighthearted moments in those meetings. At one point, he brought Speaker of the House Mike Johnson up, said he had been doing a fabulous job, and then sort of singled out Marjorie Taylor Greene and said, Marjorie, you're treating him nice, aren't you? And everyone in the room apparently kind of laughed at that. She told us, she said, eh, okay. Uh, so there were moments like that. Uh, there were birthday cakes that were presented to him, the former president, uh, celebrating a birthday tomorrow. In both meetings, by the way, they got him cakes, a lot of standing ovations. So when people came out and we asked him about it, they said that it did feel like a uniting moment for the party, for a party that's not always united, Elizabeth. And you highlighted the now sort of famous McConnell and Trump handshake or fist bump, whatever it was. That sort of is a, a symbol of the ultimate uniting of the two sides of this party right now. So Republicans came out feeling okay about it. There were some moments that uh, Democrats tried to capitalize on this uh, back and forth about Trump saying whether Milwaukee was a horrible place and different accounts of that. Uh, you had the president reacting right away to that. You had Speaker Nancy Pelosi today in a really scathing comment say that the instigator of the insurrection is back and ending her statement with something to the effect of he has cemented his legacy um, in shame here in Washington. So obviously invoking a lot of reaction. But most Republicans we talked to today feel pretty good about what they heard. Yeah, Milwaukee is the site of the Republican National Convention in just a few months. Joe, meantime, yeah. uh, President Biden is in Italy for the G7 summit where he met with leaders as well as Vladimir uh, Zelensky uh, of Ukraine. He also commented when asked a question by a reporter on his son Hunter Biden's guilty conviction. What did he say? Yeah, he was asked specifically whether he would be open to commuting the sentence of his son, which he said no to, which isn't really a huge surprise. He had already gotten the question last week as to whether he would pardon his son, Hunter. He said no. He's put out two statements at the beginning and at the end of trial, both times saying he is going to be hands off because this is a federal case, but just expressing support on a personal and human level for his son. So maybe not a huge surprise there taking those things off the table. We do know Hunter Biden does plan to appeal the ruling, the guilty verdict that he just got last week. Yeah, as he week. is entitled to do, the president has said now repeatedly that he will respect the judicial process. No commutation yeah. of the sentence, no pardons. All right, Joe Khalil, thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.